next one is called the add on installation hana add on installations add ons add ons or plugins installation so what is this add ons means additional functionalities add ons means additional functionalities additional functionalities here additional functionalities so means new functionalities so there are the some functionalities will come as part of the normal database installations and everything but if you want to install the some other things so new future some other things then you need to install the some additional components normally uh, when you purchase the laptop you will get the you will not get the sound drivers again you need to install the sound drivers add-ons you need to install it all those things right additional functionalities right base functionalities you will get it out as part of the uninstallation if you need some additional things you need to download the add-ons and plugins depends upon the your version here suppose here we will go to download center we will do the some add-ons how to some so let's do the some add-on installation here so let's go to the hana so in our systems we have the plain systems are there we have our plain systems plain hana systems are there here right so here how to so let's go to the here uh just h for hana right here in the hana box only in the hana folder only you will see the some of the add-ons here right let's go to sap platform edition platform edition installations so here you will see the access related things here is it installation i think okay let's go to the support packs and patches here well, because here you will get more things here right so apl is the add-on apl is the add-on application log spark so shine so test ina so ea afl so client cockpit db so demo afl epm add-ons graphics viewer ana hwc ct2 tool and uh, so there are the many things are available like that shine also one of the add-on where it is is mode i think so like that we need to download any one of the add-on so suppose like you want to download the afl just to download the afl here afl just to download the so your 64 bit version so what is the latest version this is the one your ana version is the 2.077 download the this afl version here right just one of the afl application functional application function library this is the one of the tool for it's required for the s4 hana systems here like that you need to download the afl suppose you want to download the some other so tools also spark spark controller so suppose you will get the requirement actually based on that you need to download so download is yes let's so just to download it whatever you want you can download it all those things you can download it here right so once you download it here we need to move to the here so let me log into the system let me check whether system is started or stopped status yes it started status only mm -hmm. so now what we have to do we need to move the so here we will place it db software place folder so it's downloaded right so what i can do here you can go to the copy it here let me open the studio
So it's copying. So once it's copied, I can move to the server level using the WinSAP. SAP for now. Nothing. Download the whatever the plugins they will ask us to uh, install it. Add ons or plugins. We need to download it. Then we need to move to the your database server level. We have to move it. Database server level. We have to move it here. So make the one folder here media. Here real software are available. What I will do here. It's copied. I think I will go to the E drive DB patch. So this is the one, this is the AFL. Let's go to the AFL. Then, yeah, this is the one zip file got downloaded. What is this zip file? Extract it. Mm. I think this we have to import to the SAP system. We have to... <laughs> okay so afl afl guy got moved to the server level here so now go to the slash media slash media where i have placed the slash afl software here right so let's change the let me let me extract this afl file here so cannot create the permission define mm -hmm. okay what I will do, I will root user, I will go to slash media, ch mode table seven, this file, ch double n hyphen r, r is not required. That's why these commands are very important. Yes, dh edm slash scpc, changing the permissions, changing the permissions here. So we need to extract any SAR file. Definitely everybody knows that to extract in the SAR file. SAP car iPhone XVF. Then this is a AFL file, right? Just to down extract the software file here. So any plugin, just to download and extract it. So DB should be up and running in that case. You need the root user, you have to log in. Root user, you have to log in. And so we have to root user, we have to log in and we need to do the extraction here permission deny they cannot create let's create the folder now so as they say psid adm user it's cannot creating the folder here so i'm creating the uh, with the root user giving the permission so make sure permissions should be followed here so clearly so we have to follow the permissions, we have to give it. So then, so then we can extract the software here. Once again, what is this? I think the root user only it is there. C-H-O-N-N-I-F-N-R, S-D-H-E-D-M, S-E-P-C, this is the group. This is the folder. So I changed it now. Now let's go back to the SDH EDM CD slash media. So then SAP car iPhone XVF. This is the file. Right. So see here we have fixed the permission issue. Then it created the folder name is called the SAP and AFL. Then so after that it is doing this one. Right. AFL and it is after that the binaries are getting extracted here. So what I am doing now, okay, it is extracted. So every extractor file, every extractor file here, 
it will when you extract it, it will create the one folder called the SAP HANA AFL, SAP HANA LC apps, SAP HANA Shine, Spark, whatever it may be. If you extract it, it will create the one folder like this here. So here, so every file there is a HDB, INST, HDB, LCM folders of okay, binary file, executable files are there. You need to execute that file, then it will ask the in which database you want to add this add-on, which database you want to add this add-on, it will ask that information. So now, SDH. Yes, so then, see here, it is getting installed. It is getting the application AFL. AFL is the one of the plugin. It is getting installed here. It is getting installed here in the AFL side here. You can see here, same as like export monitor jobs, completed three, 23, running three, three waiting. So total 29, six are pending. So it's an export also will be completed here. See here, the stopping the process, the stopping the process, installing the AFL, but it is required the HANA system restart. It is the restarting the HANA system here. So HANA system is getting restarted here. Then you will get the one option like, yeah, additional add-ons then AFL like that you will get the one more row will be added so if you want to install any plugins or anything you can go to suppose sometimes we may have to import the ppz files or some zip files we may have to import into the ana system here in that case you need to go to the so file there is a import option let's like there is a import option here import some content we may have to import into the HANA, some roles, some TBZ files, some HANA content we may have to import it, something we have to import into the HANA system here, right? So in this case, data from local file system. Cannot connect to the select target connection. Why? Because now, the plugins are getting installed and it is getting restarted. So that is the reason. So this is the unused first third party libraries to be cleaned. It is the so another additional third party library. So it is starting mode. See here, installation, any any library or any plugin, installation is very simple. The only thing is here, stopping and starting will take the some time here. That's why you can see it here, the stopping the systems and starting the, so these systems are taking time here. Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, actually here we give the permissions, right, sir? For the, we download after that, we give the permissions. Uh, sir, but uh, uh, first me, root nunchi permission teacher, that is, this call, that is, after that, me, uh, 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 root nunchi, kado, so I did it for the SID ADM. It's not taken. Then I went to the root, SID uh, root user. Then I created the folder, but I have not changed the ownership to the SID ADM user ownership. I have not changed it. Again, it got the permission denied while extracting the file. Again, I went to the root user. I did the, I changed the permission and the ownership to the SID ADM. That time it got worked. Okay, sir. Go to exports, import option, and our content from the data from the files. Okay. Where the file, select file. So where your file is existed, I imported a file here. So we can also export the data. We can also import the delivery units. I mean to say delivery units import export in procedure here. 
so then we can go to the here the big patch so this is the one Our files are okay. Voice level installation files, these are okay. Anna Spark and voice level installation files. Got it. So, this one we have to move it to the voice level only, not here operating system level only. So, see here, so it is getting installed now. We can see AFL. So, in the installed plugins, AFL, AFL got installed here, so, right? So, previously this option is not there now. So, now this uh, in the new installation of this one. And this is also we installed here, right? So mandate whenever you are upgrading the HANA system, you need to update the, the AFL also. We need to update it in case of latest version is released. Then we have to update the this AFL also. We have to release it here. So this one. Move to the folder to the again. Same OS level. So this is the different. So its installation is done, right? Installation is done. So this is the way we have to install the, the plugins, same. So download it, extract it, and when you extract it, go to the extracted folder, you will see the SAP INST. Just execute the SAP INST, then it will ask the DBSID, provide the DBSID, all the details, it will be installed here. It will be installed here, so in this location. So here, so this is the folder the spark related folder this is also some of the os level binary only so here dot slash is rpm package right same rpm package also we have to install like this only here so like this only so we have to install the xcc format error okay different format i think this is the one RPM iPhone RPM iPhone I RPM iPhone I installing the HANA Spark control. Simple. I means installation. It was level installation of the any packages. RPM we have to install it here. Installed. Done. HANA Spark control installation is done. So like this. So we have to install the, the respective files, folders, anything, ANA related, any plugins or add-ons or anything. So same way we have to do the installation. Same way we have to do the installation in the systems, right? As soon as it is installed, then it will show the clear information like, so AFL got installed, something like that. You will see the information here. So the application team will use the related functionalities. Application will use the related functionalities here. So this is the, so AFL, this is the functionalities. Okay. So that is the, the add-ons or plugins, installations and everything. So see here, here we created a export dump. Maybe it's maybe 2GB only. So simply we can export import also here, right? So that is the <coughs> ANA related things here. So the next one tomorrow we'll go with the HANA cockpit and this import option. Import option along with the HANA cockpit will go for that one. HANA cockpit 